A new year and a new start for Africa. The world's largest single market has now opened, enabling all but one of the 54 nations to begin trading. The position to become globally competitive after decades of exporting its natural resources and importing processed goods, some African governments are pushing for more homegrown industrial solutions. Building a strong manufacturing base is a key to unlocking this potential. Manufacturing production has been increasing faster in sub-Saharan Africa than in the rest of the world. FM James Dew, the human company need the Ramaback Metals. I work Galaway, Accra, Tima Market area. Metal fabricators, a human who is 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 James <laughs> James <laughs> The pristine quality curriculum is one that seeks to enhance the work skills and working practices of SMEs and master craft persons. It seeks to help them to upskill their activities to meet the industry standards and become globally competitive. With the event of COVID and after, it is very important that People like James are supported to be able to grow their businesses so that they can be able to become competitive, expand and be able to create more jobs for their youth within their country. Job creation is the focus of the precision quality curriculum. Once the SMEs and the master craft persons are able to expand their businesses, we believe that they will be able to create more jobs for our young people within the ecosystem and become also globally competitive in the industry. Because because
The future looks very bright for artisans like James, who you saw in the video. Because for the first time, industry is saying that, look, we have certain expectations and requirements that must meet industry standards look like. You can't blame them because these are artisans who have learned the trade informally through passed down generations from masters. And so with regulation changing and standards rising, this for the first time really brings to the bear the importance of having the PQ certification. More so because it's been designed by industry and certified by the regulator. At the timber market alone where James uh, practices his trade, there are over 10,000 of similar Jameses. So there's a lot of work to be done. Um, when you look at the big picture, changing the narrative is going to take a lot of work. It's going to take a lot of effort. But I'm proud to say that with the Association of MasterCard, in the next three years, we're looking at transforming and upgrading the skills of master craftsmen 5,000. So this is the beginning. Um, and once other artisans see the value of where this is going and as regulation being taken into effect, um, we should see generally across board, you know, moving from trade association to trade association, the transformation across board. And more especially because we're moving into the era of industrialization, what this means as a country, we're poised for takeoff. Um, we have talent at every level. Um, and so it's truly exciting to see where this is going to go.